everyone. Welcome to my kitchen. You're in KK's Big Kitchen. This is Kimberly Knox, uh, creator of the Bioenergetic Cooking Method. Just a simple way to cook to increase their vitality for life. And just it's all about just real food. My passion really is to reconnect people to the reverence of food. What am I holding? It's about the size of uh, a nice football here, Nerf football. <laughs> but um, this is spaghetti squash. And spaghetti squash is genius for reducing your carbs, upping your nutrients, and still making you feel filled up and giving that experience of a spaghetti. Okay, that's genius, right? <laughs> we all love spaghetti growing up, but yeah, um, the reality is as we age, Unfortunately, we've got issues with blood sugar and um, the food companies are not assisting with that. And the body is just not made for that many refined carbs. And unfortunately, pastas have a high level of carbs, which means they're converting to a lot of sugar and, and stored energy. So this you'll save about 30 grams of carbs in just one cup, as opposed to a pasta. So that's brilliant. Of course, it's gluten-free. It's also filled with manganese. It's filled with vitamin uh, B vitamins. It's filled with fiber, vitamin C, lots of fiber. That's why it happens to be in the colon section of my book. book uh, it is the first section because it's energetically of the lower vibrations. And fiber is so necessary. So, you know, in each of my recipes, I write a little bit about what this will help to provide as healing information for the body. So we're going to get this cut up. Um, now, this is a perfect size. If you want to create boats out of it, you would just cut it in half and you would roast it and then stuff it, fluff it up. I fluff it up, then stuff it. And that's why I always have sauce in the freezer ready to go. I'm going to show you how to slice it just like I've got here in the book and uh, how nicely these discs turn into like perfect spirals of spaghetti. Okay, you excited? So let me uh, get my apron on, get out a few things and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Simple things for this. A sharp, thin blade knife. So the Santuco, the larger one works perfect for this. A smaller paring knife to cut around to get out the seeds. We're gonna need some virgin unrefined coconut oil to brush over it. A Little bit of sea salt and pepper, parchment paper to line the pan and um, some aluminum foil. We're gonna cover, we're gonna make a little bit of a steaming just to help it cook quicker and then take it off toward the end. It's gonna cook for 30 minutes and then we're gonna go. Now, the hardest thing about the spaghetti squash is cutting it. If the skin is very thick, it is going to give you difficulties. I like to rock it just a tiny bit, get your blade in there. And you see the, the lines around here, that is your spiral of spaghetti. So let's <clears throat> go for about a little under an inch. See this? So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna cut around the hole here to get the seeds out, makes your life a lot easier. Just make them around the same size, the disc. <clears throat> Again, there we go. Let's get the bottom cut off. If you were cutting these into boats, you would just slice it down the center, uh, scoop out the seeds and do the same thing. So we've got two more cuts here. The, the pointed part of this blade works very well to get into a squash particularly. And one more cut and we should be good to go. Some spaghetti squash has very thick skin and makes it a little difficult. Okay, so fantastic. <clears throat> now what I do is I just slice around. <clears throat> See how this goes? And then you have everything out nice and easy. So I'm gonna do that for the rest of them. Then we'll put them on there and we'll get them prepared. So let me do that. Okay, so I didn't wanna waste good rec recording time. You see, oh, it's a paring knife, 
and all you do is just cut around to get the seeds out. I found that makes it easier. Okay, I like to protect the pans here with the parchment paper. So I happen to have white. You can also get unbleached. Whole Foods carries that one. So we're gonna line the pan with these gems. Put the bigger ones toward the outside. <clears throat> Get these big seeds out of the way. So very simple. Uh, so this is not the one I bake with. This is, but it is an organic unrefined coconut oil. So the Nutiva brand, which I show a lot, I keep that for when I'm baking things. All right, so this one, it's an excellent quality, but I use it for pans and for rubbing on <clears throat> especially squashes. So this is going to naturally sweeten it up. It's going to protect it. It's going to keep it nice and moist. It's going to help it to cook, roast more quickly. But the sizes, sometimes the sizes at the stores, they're gigantic. And that can be a little daunting if you're going to start out with spaghetti squash, getting those guys cut up, right? So let's just put on a little bit of sea salt here. You can always put more on later. And like I really love pepper. So I'm just get some pepper on there too. Of course, I'm probably going to uh, saute it up in some garlic and um, onions and then put parsley on it. And that could be like a whole bowl before you put on some sauce with either meatless or meat type of balls. Now, what we do here is we cover it with a thin piece. This is gonna help to keep in the moisture and the steam is gonna help cook it a little more quickly. Depending on the spaghetti squash, some of them are a little tougher, some of them are, uh, you're gonna check it. Uh, I'd say for about 30 minutes, this is going to be good to go. Let it cook. Then so you'll take the cover off, fork test it, and just let it finish up. Okay, so we're just going to get this in the oven, and then we'll be back when they're done. Okay, so the 30-minute timer just went off. Let's get this out. Check it out. See how we're doing. So you see the steam that came out? But the parchment paper is genius for helping that. So this is getting perfect. So I'm just gonna loosen this up a tiny bit and we're gonna put it in. See how nice this is? Yeah, this is perfect. All right, so we're just gonna put this in uncovered for another 15 minutes and then we are going to be ready to go. In fact, it probably only takes about 10 minutes. And then we're going to uh, uh, saute up some garlic, some onion. We just You just toss it around in it really quick just to get the flavor all going and uh, brilliant. So we'll be back to do that in a sec. Okay, depending on how much garlic you like, I like a generous amount. I buy it already, uh, the skin's already off, I already feel. I have some over here too. Let's say I'm just gonna cut the top off and roast the whole thing. Um, that's amazing. Uh, but I use a lot, so I have it already ready to go. So I just like to use a chef knife and go through the garlic. Just, uh, I like it rough chopped. I don't like it tiny, tiny. So depending on how you like it, you just go through it several times. Just keep stacking it up. Quite easy. Beautiful. Don't forget to get one of your board scrapers. Look how nice. <laughs> Very easy. And if you can grab some of these Winco little prep bowls, they're invaluable. Mmm, smells so good. Of course, I always have onion on hand. And uh, I like my slim blade knife. 
I'm going to slice it real thin. I actually want slices in this. All right, the center is going to come out. So this, uh, a sharp thin blade will allow you to go and then uh, just cut it off. You always want to cut it on the flat. Keep your fingers tucked. <laughs> it's not perfect. Just concentrate on not cutting yourself. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. All right, lots of onions because I want lots of onions. I mean, this is nice and warm. Now, when you're roasting squashes, it's it's a really good idea to use something like coconut oil because it has a very high smoke point. So it's not gonna start to oxidize and that's that strange smell that you smell in the air of bad oils, often from like a food truck or uh, they're using that or vegetable oils or, you know, like an omelet station or something. You can smell the oil for a long time. So we're just gonna let these get translucent. <laughs> My Valentine spatula. Let them get fragrant and translucent uh, for about, I don't know, about three minutes here. We're going to add the garlic and then that'll be ready. And then we're just going to toss it in there. And that's how quick and amazing this recipe is. The onions are looking great, smelling amazing. The neighbors always love it. <laughs> I'm adding in the rough chopped garlic. So, you know, you could use olive oil at this point, just like I toss my steamed veggies in olive oil and garlic as a finisher. But since we've already rubbed those down with coconut oil, it's just fine with another little. So we're just gonna let that get fragrant. We've got um, about four more minutes left on the squash and we'll be back to peel it off and put it in here. Okay, let's get these squash dips out of here. They're going to be a little hot, obviously, when you take them off. So you might want to keep on a pot holder in your hand. Where's my fork go? There's somewhere. There it is. <laughs> so, yeah, just hold it with the pot holder or you can let them cool depending on how quick. Do you see how nice this uh this works here? So you, you just go around the edge with a fork like that and it'll just come right out. <laughs> Looks just like spaghetti, right? So um, I'll do some of this offline, but I'm showing you you're just using your fork to guide along the uh, the edge of the skin, which will be tough. And then you basically just have beautiful strands of spaghetti. OK, so normally I would let this cool a little bit, uh, but I want to show you. So I am going to do the rest put them in another bowl. These aluminum bowls, they will not break. They're lightweight, easy to clean, and they stack up great. So um, beautiful. We will be right back. This will be all done. We're gonna throw it in there. We're gonna see how easy it is to make this delicious side. So here's another reason uh, that it's great to have the parchment paper lining on the pan. Not only does it Easier to clean. Um, you can just, I just, what I just uh, took them all off uh, and just put them right on the parchment paper. And then what we're going to do is just empty it into the bowl. And let's get the pan out of the way. And beautiful. So the, the whole idea is not to cook this anymore, it's just to toss it in the fragrance, onion and garlic. I like it just plain, it's fine, but starters are gonna find that it's gonna need some more flavor for them, salt and pepper. And that's just 
fine and great. And then of course, if you're putting sauce on it. So if you cut it into a boat, if you cut it into a boat, obviously you don't have to figure out how to get all the little thingies out, but um, you, uh, and, and that way you can just fluff it up before you serve it and put the sauce and the meatballs, whatever you're doing on there. So I have a, a little bit of parsley. I'm just gonna dress up with a tiny bit here. Just uh, cut off a little and chop it with the chef's knife. Um, just adding in a little more nutrients and fresh, fresh, fresh food here, not cooked. Parsley is a natural diuretic and amongst other things, that's why it's a great add-in to your smoothies that in dandelion greens are. Okay, so let's, is this even on still? <laughs> I think it is. So all we're doing is just tossing it around And with the big chunks of garlic and the nice slices of onion, you really have a brilliant, super tasty side here. A little more Himalayan sea salt. Don't over salt it. So salt and potassium work together. And that's why too much salt, can, it, it, it creates the high blood pressure because then you're putting constriction on and reducing the potassium in the body, which relaxes the flow. So it's a whole like process here. But once you get used to other flavors like garlic and onion and pepper, you don't need so much salt added. So here's your recipe. <laughs> Super simple and amazing. I'm going to be putting this into a um, nice, Possible, nice. And you can enjoy the entire thing. You will be filled up with nutrients and hardly any calories, but tons of nutrients. That's where real food veggies come into play. So hope you liked a quick little uh, video today on the spaghetti squash. If you like watching me, uh, give me a little thumbs up. If you want to get notifications, you know how to do that with the bell. If you want to subscribe, you're welcome to. So thanks for stopping by KK's Big Kitchen.